In probability theory, the law of total probability is a fundamental rule relating marginal probabilities to conditional probabilities. It expresses the total probability of an outcome which can be realized via several distinct events, hence the name, statement. The law of total probability is the proposition that if is a finite or countably infinite partition of a sample space and each event is measurable, then for any event of the same probability space, or, alternatively, where, for any for which these terms are simply omitted from the summation, because is finite, the summation can be interpreted as a weighted average, and consequently the marginal probability is sometimes called average probability. Overall probability is sometimes used in less formal writings. The law of total probability can also be stated for conditional probabilities. Taking the as above, and assuming is an event independent with any of the informal formulation. The above mathematical statement might be interpreted as follows. Given an outcome, with known conditional probabilities given any of the events, each with a known probability itself, what is the total probability that will happen? The answer to this question is given by example. Suppose that two factories supply light bulbs to the market. Factory X's bulbs work for over 5,000 hours in 99% of cases, whereas Factory Y's bulbs work for over 5,000 hours in 95% of cases. It is known that Factory X supplies 60% of the total bulbs available. What is the chance that a purchase bulb will work for longer than 5,000 hours? Applying the law of total probability, we have, where is the probability that the purchase bulb was manufactured by Factory X? Is the probability that the purchase bulb was manufactured by Factory Y? Is the probability that a bulb manufactured by X will work for over 5,000 hours? Is the probability that a bulb manufactured by Y will work for over 5,000 hours? Thus each purchased light bulb has a 97.4% chance to work for more than 5,000 hours. Applications one common application of the law is where the events coincide with a discrete random variable x taking each value in its range, i.e., is the event. It follows that the probability of an event A is equal to the expected value of the conditional probabilities of A given. That is, where PR is the conditional probability of A given the value of the random variable x. This conditional probability is a random variable in its own right, whose value depends on that of x. The conditional probability PR is simply a conditional probability given an event, x equals x. It is a function of x, say g equals PR. Then the conditional probability PR is g, hence itself a random variable. This version of the law of total probability says that the expected value of this random variable is the same as PR. This result can be generalized to continuous random variables, and the expression becomes where denotes the sigma algebra generated by the random variable x. Other names the term law of total probability is sometimes taken to mean the law of alternatives, which is a special case of the law of total probability applying to discrete random variables. One author even uses the terminology continuous law of alternatives in the continuous case. This result is given by Grimmett and Welsh as the partition theorem, a name that they also give to the related law of total expectation.